Hey guys, we're finally gonna put plants in the systems today. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, so we're a little late here in planting these according to my plan, but again, that uh, was just a plan, all right? Um, the reason is you can clearly see the greenhouse is full of seedlings, okay? And uh, that's what ended up happening. So uh, we add seedlings everywhere over each system, you know, to harden them, you know, and get them ready for the season. Uh, so as you know, they went into the, under the grow light. There's a short about that. So when they got to a point where the greenhouse was kind of at the right spot, I put a little eater in here so that I would keep it above, you know, 38, something like that. And that allowed us to move the plants out much quicker um, than, than, we, than we could do without heating, right? So uh, we did that, but this meant that I had stuff everywhere in here. Let's talk a little bit about how I started the system up, because you saw me build uh, those system all right um, what I did as you can see there's nine buckets here that have um, uh, nutrient solution in it so I could have gone and fill each one of them with the appropriate solution and all of that but that could have taken a long time so what I did is I used my reservoir for the tomato um, so you know this is like a 32 gallon can um, trash can so what I do is I prepare the solution in that bucket, you know, uh, with a 30 gallon recipe. So that's the recipe that goes into both of these things. And they're the regular master blend tomato and vegetable. I'm going to use um, uh, the lettuce formula for my other system here, but I'm not starting that just yet. I had to essentially have uh, almost uh, two, two full cans of that, you know, a little less because, you know, the the solution doesn't come all the way to the top, you know, uh, it comes to the bottom of the pots. And, um, and again, check the image, okay. I, you, I mixed it in there, pumped it in, pumped it in this system, and uh, as you know, water find its uh, level, and it just spread the wealth here, and I didn't have to measure like nine times, you know, uh, <laughs> solutions, you know, so that went well. Um, then I filled this tank with all its nutrient solution in the same manner. So, okay, so I had to mix three batches in all. Peppers are in, okay. Um, I'm gonna walk you through what I did with them, but yesterday we were pretty busy and, you know, I only had time to catch a few clips on my phone here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna split screen here and, and show you uh, what I did here. So essentially those peppers were grown as seedlings in normal uh, potting soil, all right? And what you can see that we did here, we're, we're putting the, um, so we're trying to get as much dirt as possible off of the root ball without going crazy, all right? So putting the root ball in the water so that most of the dirt falls off. Then I put rock wool around it, okay? And come here and transplant it into my pots. All right, I'm putting hydrogens around them to uh, secure them so that they don't move too, too much. A little later this uh, summer, I'm going to put screws on the pots here to, uh, to hold them in place so that the weight of the plant doesn't get them, um, you know, all bent out of shape. All right, so peppers went in yesterday. This morning, I'm going to do the tomatoes and um, I'm going to bring you along for the ride here. All right. So the tomato will go directly in the um, hydrogens here. OK, I'm not going to do anything else uh, to them. I'm not going to put any rock wool or anything around them. Um, so that is. So the way we do it, so I'm going to take the this is a Napa grape. OK, as you can see, nice roots. I'm going to disturb them quite a bit here. So this is a bucket of water, all right. And like I said, like I told you uh, too, you know, 
I'm not going crazy with getting all the dirt out of them. You know, all I'm doing is putting them into the soil. Well, the soil, the hydratants, all right? Let me get this leaf off. All right, number one. So this, these are our own seedlings, so don't, don't mind the pot here. Um, so same deal. going on here so as you can see I have just a little spray of water right in the back here all right so it provides the nutrients to every one of my tomato all right now this is on a timer it goes um, half an hour on, half an hour off, all right? So that's how the Dutch bucket is set up. All right, now let me show you a little bit how this works. So as you can see here in the bucket, there's barely enough water to cover the bottom, all right? That's how they're all set up, okay? So let me just bring you in this one here so that we can see what's going on so when I remove it okay you can see inside okay the stone that does the aeration all right so that's what's providing the, the, the plant with all the oxygen it needs and the other uh, little uh, line there is the is the uh, water uh, being recirculated you know and again on a sequence you know it doesn't do that 24 hour a day it just does it every you know maybe for 10 minutes out of a day all right so that's how that's how they're all set up and here just for reference um, about about a sweet sweet Costa Rican King Arthur bell pepper Flaming Flare, Cherry Stuffer, Baron, and Jalapenos. And for reference again, so this is a Napa Grape and Rosa, Better Boy. Pink Wonders and 4th of July. All right, guys, so it took a little longer than expected to get those systems up and running, but it was a self imposed um, uh, deadline here. As you can clearly see, there's still a ton of other plants, you know, uh, geraniums here. These are cucumbers and um, uh, squashes and all those. These are essentially duplicates of these, okay? Some, some of them will go in the garden. Some of them will be given away to friends and family. So that's what we have. We have some coleus here. Tomato, peppers. Yeah, so, so yeah, we're in good shape right now. System started. We're, uh, end of, we're the last weekend of April, you know? And I was hoping to get that going by the first or second week of April, but you know, again, we needed the greenhouse, you know, to harden the plants and, and all that, which is fine. All right. So, Hey, yeah, I'm going to keep you updated on what's going on here uh, throughout the season. So, 
season is off guys give me a like and i'll see you next time all right thanks bye